All right, so in this problem, I have 4 to the power of x plus 4 to the power of x plus 4 to the power of x plus 4 to the power of x is equal to 512. So I'm going to first start by factoring out 4 to the power of x. So now I have 4 to the power of x times 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 is equal to 512. Now if I simplify what's in the parentheses, I get 4 times 4 to the power of x is equal to 512. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m times a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m plus n. So 4 times 4 to the power of x, well, 4 is the same thing as 4 to the power of 1. So 4 to the power of 1 times 4 to the power of x, that's equal 4 to the power of x plus 1, and this is equal to 512. Now, 4, this is the same thing as 2 squared. So I have 2 squared to the power of x plus 1 is equal to 512, which is the same thing as 2 to the power of 9. And if I have something from a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So 2 to the power of 2 to the power of x plus 1, it's going to equal 2 to the power of 2 times x plus 1. And 2 times x plus 1, I can simply distribute the 2, so I get 2 to the power of 2x plus 2 is equal to 2 to the power of 9. Now if I have something from a to the power of m is equal to a to the power of n, this means that m is equal to n. So in this case, 2x plus 2 is equal to 9. Now if I subtract 2 on both sides, I get 2x is equal to 9 minus 2, which is 7. And if I divide both sides by 2, I get x is equal to 7 over 2. Now I'm going to go ahead and check if this is right. So to check, my original equation was 4 to the power of x plus 4 to the power of x plus 4 to the power of x plus 4 to the power of x is equal to 512. Now if I plug in 7 over 2, I get 4 to the power of 7 over 2 plus 4 to the power of 7 over 2 plus 4 to the power of 7 over 2 plus 4 to the power of 7 over 2 is equal to 512. Now 4 is the same thing as 2 squared, so I have 2 squared to the power of 7 over 2 4 times is equal to 512, and these two cancel out, so now I have 4 times 2 to the power of 7 is equal to 512, and 2 to the power of 7 is 128, so I have 4 to the power of 128 is equal to 512, and 4 to the power of 128 is 512. So I have 512 is equal to 512, and because this is right, my solution here is right. All right, so in this problem, I have 2 to the power of 3x plus 2 to the power of x is equal to 10. So to solve this, first off, if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is the same thing as a to the power of m to the power of n. So 2 to the power of 3x, I can rewrite as 2 to the power of x to the power of 3. So I have this plus 2 to the power of x is equal to 10. Now I'm going to let 2 to the power of x equal to the variable y. So I have y to the power of 3 plus y is equal to 10. Now if I subtract 10 on both sides, these two cancel out, and I get y to the power of 3 plus y minus 10 is equal to 0. Now I can rewrite y as... 5y minus 4y, so I have this minus 10 is equal to 0. And now, I'm going to switch these places, and uh, switch the order, sorry. So now I have y to the power of 3 minus 4y, plus 5y minus 10 is equal to 0. Now from here, from y to the power of 3 minus 4y, I'm going to factor out y. So I get y times y squared minus 4 plus from 5y minus 10, I'm going to factor out 5. So I'll get 5 times y minus 2 is equal to 0. Now y squared minus 4, that's the same thing as y plus 2 times y minus 2. And I have this plus 5 times y minus 2 is equal to 0. And now if I factor out y minus 2 from this, I get y minus 2 times y times y plus 2 plus 5. This is equal to 0. Now this is the same thing as y minus 2 times y squared plus 2y plus 5 is equal to 0. 
So now this is going to give me two equations. I get y minus 2 is equal to 0, and y squared plus 2y plus 5 is equal to 0. So for y minus 2 equals 0, y is equal to 2, obviously. And for y squared plus 2y plus 5 equals 0, um, we are going to use the quadratic formula. And I'm actually not going to waste your time, guys' time by sol plugging everything in and solving it. But if you do end up doing it, you get that there is no solution because it's going to be the square root of a negative number. So y equals 2 is my only solution for y. Now remember how we set 2x, 2 to the power of x, equal to y. So now I have 2 to the power of x is equal to 2, and 2 to the power of what is equal to itself? 1. So my solution is x equals 1. All right, so in this problem, I have x minus 4 to the power of 4 is equal to x to the power of 4. So to solve this, I'm going to start by subtracting x to the power of 4 on both sides. So then these two cancel out. Now I have x minus 4 to the power of 4 minus x to the power of 4 is equal to 0. Now I'm going to rewrite this as x minus 4 squared to the power of 2 minus x squared to the power of 2 is equal to 0. And if I have something in the form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So in this case, a is x minus 4 squared, and b is x squared. So I have x minus 4 squared plus x squared times x minus 4 squared minus x squared is equal to 0. So now this gives, now if I simplify this, I get x squared minus 8x plus 16 plus x squared times x squared minus 8x plus 16 minus x squared is equal to 0. So in my right hand side, x squared and x squared, those two add up. So I get 2x squared minus 8x plus 16 times my right hand side, these two cancel out. So I get negative 8x plus 16 is equal to 0. So now this gives me two equations. I have 2x squared minus 8x plus 16 is equal to 0. And negative 8x plus 16 equals 0. So for 2x squared minus 8x plus 16 equals 0, I'm going to first start by dividing all my terms by 2. So now I have x squared minus 4x plus 8 is equal to 0. And now to solve this, I'm going to plug this in the quadratic formula, negative b. So negative of negative 4 plus or minus the square root of b squared negative 4 squared, which is 16, minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is 8, all over 2a. And this is equal to positive 4 plus or minus the square root of 16 minus 32, all over 2 which is equal to 4 plus or minus the square root of negative 16 over 2. And the square root of negative 16, that's the same thing as the square root of 16 times the square root of negative 1. And the square root of negative 1, that's equal to the imaginary number i. So I have 4 plus or minus the square root of 16 is 4i over 2, which is equal to 2 plus or minus 2i. And for negative 8x plus 16, I get negative 8x is equal to negative 16 meaning x is equal to 2. So these are my three solutions to this problem.